The biggest single cause of maternal death in any country in the world is bleeding after birth. It is worsened if the woman has anemia, which is very common. She will be more vulnerable to even small bleeding. In the last 20 years, we have found new ways of solving the problem of bleeding after childbirth, saving the woman. And there are two factors behind this. One is that women to a much larger extent today come to facilities to give birth. 20, 30, 40 years ago, many, many women in low and middle income countries, they stayed at home for childbirth. Today they come. In Malawi, 90% of women come to a facility for childbirth. The same in Democratic Republic of Congo. Ethiopia is at 70%. So women come to facilities and then you can address this problem as they start bleeding after birth, often unexpectedly and often after a perfectly normal childbirth. The other big factor is that we now have three or four new interventions that we didn't have 20 years ago. And these are cost-effective interventions that you can even apply at a health center. You don't necessarily need a doctor or a blood transfusion or an operating theater. A midwife can do this at the health center level. And I'm speaking of tranexamic acid, which is a drug that you can give that reduces bleeding. I'm speaking of the balloon tamponade, which is uh, something that you can insert into the uterus, into the womb, so the woman stops bleeding. And the final is an anti-shock garment. And these cheap and effective measures are possible to apply at the health center level by a midwife or a trained nurse. So we have new possibilities to address maternal mortality from bleeding. And that is what we want to do in the coming years, eliminate this scourge. Thank you.